Hello everyone, how you guys doing? Now, do you want to trade Bitcoin or altcoin profitably? If the answer is yes, then you need to pay attention to this video and make sure you watch till the end. For you to trade Bitcoin or altcoin profitably, you need to first understand the kind of trader you are. Now, we, we have categorized this into four traders. The first is the scalpers. All right, the scalpers are guys that, you know, they mark up their charts of one hour and they trade using five minutes. All right. Now, this is this might be a dangerous one for a new beginners. All right. Because there's a lot of noise in the market and the market moves so fast. All right. So the second one is the day traders. Now, they mark up their charts in four hours and they enter their trade or exit their trade using 15 minutes. Now, we have the swing trader guys. These guys mark up their charts in daily and they enter their trade using one hour. Now we have the position traders. It's more of like investors. They mark up their charts using weekly charts and they enter on four hours. Whichever one that you choose, you are expected to stick with that for a period number of time. Please kindly click on the like button, subscribe to this channel, click on that notification bell as you dive into the trader properly. All right, so now uh, we are going to take a look on being a position trader and also being a day trader. So we're going to roll trades using the both uh, positions. All right, so the first, as a position trader, now before you want to trade Bitcoin, now the first thing I do when I look at the Bitcoin chart is to look at an inverse collation with Bitcoin, market cap USDT dominance. Market cap USDT dominance is a chart you'll find trading view. Now, this chart does opposite what Bitcoin chart is doing because they are the percentage of the USDT. And you know, you are trading most time Bitcoin versus dollar. So whatever this chart is doing, Bitcoin chart will be doing the opposite. All right. So that's why I love looking at this chart. Now, if you've seen that ever since the year began, that the market has been declining. All right, and that's why Bitcoin also in the other inverse is you know appreciating in price. So what does this tells us now? At this part now, this market has found a support. So probably there might be a slight move up before market will start coming down. So that's just a, a, a thought process. Or right? anyway, um, so looking at this on the weekly charts, you know we are as we are zooming at this time. We are position trader, and we have look we are looking at the market cap dominance to see what is going on now. Until we find a clear, you know, breakout on this, the sell might not be uh, in view. That is, Bitcoin next run might not be in view. All right, so we have kind of gotten an idea of where the Bitcoin will be going inversely. So the next step you need to do is to go back to your Bitcoin chart. So now on the Bitcoin chart, we need to do our proper markups all right so here we're going to use two things we're going to use our trend line mark up your trend so obviously bitcoin is trending all time high guys and we're expecting you know we're expecting the halving this month so as bitcoin is trending you can see it has broken the all-time high but it's stalling here now you can mark up your your support or your resistance at this point in case here is resistance so we're marking it up here to see what actually we can deduce from there so now you are done with the weekly you have marked up your trend and you have marked up your support your resistance so you move to the daily so on the daily chart what can you see actually what we are interested in in two things we are just following the trend and see when the trend is broken so here we are marking up our trend we mark up our trend here so as the trend is becoming steep, we we'll mark it up here. We are marking up our trend on the daily. You know, some might be asking why marking a trend in this form. Now there is this concept we uh, explore that you know, if case you've not watched our video on trend, like kindly watch that on the link will be left. We we'll leave the link below this video. Now the concept is simple. Whenever a trend makes a steep move. You know, you always use the last two impulses to draw your trend line. Use the last two impulses in that move to draw your trend line. Because once that trend is broken, there's a tendency the market might retest the bigger trend. We are going to move down to 24 hours to see actually what the market will be giving us. So on the four hours, what can we see here? We've seen a move. The market has given us this move, you know, impulse correction, impulse 
Would this be over for this move? No way, I doubt, but now we have seen another one and the market is broken. So obviously, I'll be interested as a position trader once the market breaks these points. Okay, so we can see exactly how we have done an analysis in a simple form using trend and support. Okay, you can see exactly that the market is stalling at the what at that resistance we mark in our weekly charts. So at this point, we are waiting for the market to give us a complete structure, and that structure will be impulse correction impulse. So at the end of this place, you know, we'll be able to get a, a cheaper rate okay before the market starts moving up because you know fundamental wise bitcoin we appreciate because having is coming this month but as a position trader you always want to you know position yourself in the best possible way in the cheapest way for you guys all right so i believe you we are able to get the concepts as a position trader now we are want to do as a day trader all right from the from the four hours chart what can we see here now we have marked our support and resistance and we can see that the market is just stalling at this place so two things that is expected from this point where is the market going now the market can decide to move like this before dropping or such like this so the essence is that you need to get the buyers the higher time frame buyers before you will be able to uh, get it right in the lower time frame but at this point now this is a high this is a low the market is just in between so it's just anything can happen at this point because it hasn't given you a clear picture what the market will be doing all right so if that's the case then you need to go down to lower time frame so we move down to lower time frame like one hour and see what can we deduce from the market all right so i think this gives us a clear a more clear picture now here we can see that the market has given us an impulse after dropping it makes an impulse it drops again so it's giving us this impulse and the market is stalling so what can we see here there will probably be a, a another impulse that will be coming before the decision will be made whether the market will find a base to move up or from here it will be dropping all right so this is where what we can see from one hour chart then you are now meant to go down to 15 minutes to see exactly what the market will be doing so we are scaling down to 15 minutes here all right so at the 15 minutes now we can see actually that the market has not given us more data so all we are expecting if this market will move up we want a three wave move we want this we want this we want to see this three way move all right so at the break of here giving us a three way move we are good to go we might ride this move, but if the market decides to break this low guys that means it's not ready to go it will be dropping lower so even in the 15 minutes it's not decided all right so likewise in the four hours so in this kind of scenario you need to wait and observe what is going on before you jump into the market but to be on a safe side you know the best place to position yourself would be at this guy at the break of here we are positioning ourselves but don't forget this market actually is giving us a break and retest a break and retest so because this 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 horizontal ray is from the weekly charts okay and you see how the market is founding a clear resistance it drops a clear resistance is dropped so remember what i told you in case you've not watched how to draw your support and resistance you know the video will be the link will be left below this video kindly watch that to see how you can clearly you know identify these regions with ease all right so now the market is just dangling and we've seen that there is a break and retest so since there's a break and retest we're also waiting because we are wave trader we're waiting for that confirmation the confirmation is the only thing that remains here for us to take the trade upward but the bias is that there will be a one more impulse before we can ascertain whether the market will keep pushing higher or drop lower before going up again all right so that is just how to trade bitcoin as a technical analyst 
as a wave trader, as somebody that will understand the market structures, and you can do that too. Now, if I found value on this video, guys, kindly smash that like button, kindly subscribe to this video, and kindly click on that notification bell for more of this content next time. Thank you for your time.